All right, man, Sketchpad Podcast, you know what it is, man. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So introduce yourself, brother. Tell everybody who you is. We're going to go right into the intro. So this is boy Midwest Country boy. All right, yeah, man. So look, we got Midwest Country boy in the in the house. So look, we could be right back, man. Sketch pad, you know what it is. <clears throat> All right, man. Look, sketch pad. If you like what you see, you like what you hear. All you got to do is hit the thumbs up and all that good stuff. Also, too, if you want us to react to your stuff, cue cards on the screen. If you want to donate, that's on the screen as well. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we're going to get right to this interview, man. So, look, man. What's going on, brother? Man, you know what I mean? Everything's going good, man. God bless all. That's what's up. Yeah, man. That's what's up. Uh, question. What part of the Midwest are you from? Oh, I'm actually from St. Louis. I'm a St. Louis native. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah, so me stay in the house. <laughs> okay. N- Nelly. Nelly. A verb. Yeah. All them. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah That's what's up. DJ Pond. All Store. Yeah. 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 That's what's up. The Midwest. The Midwest been slept on for years, man. I. I I've been telling wow. people like the Midwest. Y'all, y'all pretty good out there, man. Y'all got a lot of lyrical demons out there, man. <laughs> like for real. Facts. So I don't Facts. understand why people sleep on the Midwest, man. The Midwest, is, I remember that, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what got you in? What got you in the music, man? Let's start there. Well, what got me? Well, I'm gonna say a long time ago, I used to like freestyle battle with people, and. You know, old school, but um, I'm thinking like before I, before I had my baby back in 2010, I stopped for 10 years and I restarted back in 2020. And ever since then, I've been doing it nonstop. Yeah. So you do you have uh do you get a, do you do original content or do you do uh like sound click or SoundCloud beats and stuff like that or do you have a producer no. in house producer? I mean, I have like people who make my beats. I mean, shout out to my uh, dude in East Coast, uh, Vendetta. I mean, but I know people make beats. Sometimes I do freestyles to other people's songs, but when I do a song like Lil Song and Titan, it's like my song. So. But I actually freestyle to other people's beats and songs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you, have you, do you have any projects in the work? Like any albums that you're working on? or? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I actually uh, launched my first solo album called Midwest Legend Volume One last year. Got like I think twelve songs to it, and a little something is on it. You know, uh, versus I say Titan and Telephone, and you know, Get Nasty and Count Money. So I did it process by myself, and you know, it took me a little while, but to build it up. But it's like I do it independently with my label. So you so. This, this the album you put out is it on iTunes SoundCloud what is it yes on? I mean right now it's on um it's on my YouTube page as a playlist and it's on my SoundCloud and I'm thinking next month I'm gonna put it everywhere so I'm gonna switch um companies to put it everywhere so me and my people gonna do that so everybody yeah, have you know how to, to put it up on, on everywhere Cause I know a lot yeah, of people don't. Of course. Know. Yeah, I know. Oh okay. yeah. All right. Cause I know a lot of talk. I talked to a lot of artists, and they be like, "I don't know how to get my stuff on on Apple Music and stuff and, and mm-hmm. Spotify." I'm like, "It's real easy, man." <laughs> it's yeah, real easy, I mean, actually. yeah, yeah, especially distribution. So that's why I do. Yeah, I'm about to change one from it now to somewhere else. So. 
Oh, that's what's up, man. You got any uh, yeah. any features on your project, or you just uh, just dolo? Yeah, I mean, it's nine ten. Like, I got um features on it. Um, just like uh, my my own boy uh Reese, Lieutenant Reese. He on a little something. Uh, he from Houston, so I mean, since I mean, I did a song to get back to him. He like it. I mean, I get nasty. Um. Yeah, get nasty and then count money a little bit, but now tens is like myself. You know what I mean? Because I wanna wanna have people on there, but I don't want people like you know, yeah, he had too much people on there versus you know yourself. So I try to focus on myself and who I am and where I come from and my projects. Yeah, I understand that because a lot of times we have we be having a lot of people on the projects, and it seems turns out to be a compilation mm-hmm. album. Instead of it being like right. your own work, you know what I'm saying? So I understand that a hundred percent. Um what's your what's your and I'm gonna let S go. What is your what's your favorite song? Or in fact, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. What, what what class of, of rapper would you put yourself in? Are you in the rapping category of how would I say this? More lyrical side? Or are you in the rapping category of more of more of a I want to say drill slash street slash like not so lyrical, but more of like realism type of rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, I'll give you an example. Like, are you more mm -hmm. on the lines of like, like Jada Kiss or on the lines of like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't really know too many, uh, like Little Dirk and all of them. Or, or are you on the lines yeah. of, like, uh, on the lines of like uh, Kanye West, or uh, I would say a little more, a little more different. What, what would you classify yourself? Yeah. I mean, I'm more. I'm gonna say I'm more old school, but I put a new school in it. But like this new generation of drill rap, I don't do it. Even though I have a song called Loaded, and um. On the reason why I did that, I, I just like the beat, so I just went in on that. But I'm like old school, messing new school up a little bit. So I mean, like drill. I'm not a drill rapper, so it's like to me, I like. I'm, I'm gonna say this right. I'm a man who likes to talk, so especially about what I know in streets life and, and whatnot. But I don't put too much on it as you know, killing or whatever. I put lyrics on there and stuff like that. So I told you I used to be a battle rapper. Not out of ten. I would go hard on people or put something up, bring something up in my songs to make a, a MC want to try hard for a lyricist or content. Yeah, push your camera back a little bit because all we can see is the top of your head. Yeah. yeah, like push it back. Like like come back, try to come back a little yeah. more when you talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you're yeah. talking, this all we see is this, your mouth. So like, like if you could yeah, push it I'm back trying. to where we could see like your neck and your head, it'd be perfect. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, this camera, like that. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, like this camera's like kind of, but yeah, that's 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 perfect though, right there. Okay. Um. Uh, okay, so you say you more old school, so you more like old school, like Nas mm-hmm. type old school, or old school like before that. I mean, old school, like I'm talking about, like. You know, B.I.G., Tupac, Big L, Nas. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. Nas, so you like Nas, that's like, yeah. Nas is in that era too, so you like Nas. Yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get you. Yeah, so um, you said you you said you said have a label. You said you have a label. Uh, So do you have artists on your label with you, or is it just you managing yourself? Right now, I just manage myself. I mean... But I would like to get orders, but mm-hmm. at right now, I just manage myself and put my name out there and my company out there so I can get people on it. So when they get on it, they know who I am and the logo. Okay. So this is official uh, official LLC brand then? Mm, yes. Oh, yeah. That's good. I've always I've always been an advocate for for artists to get their own. And start their own, you know what I'm saying, independently, because I felt like independently is the wave. Like you really don't need a machine 
to put your music out there to the masses. You know what I'm saying? All you need is an LLC, some copyrights, and publishing, and writer credits, and you're well on your way. And most of that stuff costs costs a little under a hundred dollars. You understand what I'm saying? So whenever whenever I hear and see you know artists you know going for the gusto and uh and basically getting their own, it's always a pleasure because like you know what I mean I'm I'm on that same mind state that same wave you know what I mean I feel like ownership is everything as far as being an artist you know you or the machine. The machine could strip you naked and you don't have nothing and you won't be able to pr produce nothing or do anything. But when you're independent, you know what I'm saying? You could do whatever you want. You could release whatever you want. You could release any time you want. You know what I'm saying? There's no pressure. There's no pressure. You know what I'm saying? So salute to you for that. I, I, I like, you know, seeing the empowerment of artists trying to get their own. Um, You mentioned something about battle rap. Uh, mm -hmm. so let me ask you this. Um, have you battled on any platforms or was this just something like street battles? Like you just, like they used to do back in the day. Oh, you hear that this person's the best in that hood. You go to his hood and battle him. It was it something like that. Or was this something that you actually, that you actually was invested in and you battled on leagues and platforms and stuff like that. Cause St. Louis has a very big battle rap platform they have a very big battle league uh, right i mean i'm gonna say back in the day before the technology you know like i say any anybody's a rapper like yeah he good with the uh, rhymes like oh yeah let's go, let's go over here you know what i mean i'm talking about that one but i'm gonna say currently you know what i mean like as a professional film not really but if i hear or see that you is a bad rapper you got lyricist i'm like okay cool you know what I mean? Because nine out of times, nine out of ten, like artists, especially MCs, like, I got the best flows until they actually meet a person, you know, who actually on their level or higher. And I'm like, well, mm -hmm. cool. Because I actually won some, I also lost some. But, you know, I didn't give up because he lyricist or punchline is better than mine. You know what I mean? It's a win win situation. Okay. 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 Because, you know, uh, St. Louis, they like I said, they have a very, very large battle rap community, and they heavy out there. Uh, what they call the street status, street status SNL, like they they heavy out there. You know what I'm saying? And um, I've and A Verb is in my like top five battle rappers. Like that's one of my favorite battle rappers. Like he be going in. So I know if you from that area, then I understand. Like, yeah, there's there's some there's some uh, murderers out there. <laughs> you know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, you could go ahead, uh, Fuhrer man. You could go ahead. Um. So, uh, so I guess I got to get your take on on this whole thing between Drake and Kendrick because I know it's the biggest thing in hip hop, and I always ask people this question. <laughs> Um, what do you think about this battle, and who do you think won the battle? Man, I'm like, I'm like all people. You know who won? I mean, Kendrick. I mean, I'm gonna say this about Drake. Even though I don't like Drake as an artist, whatever, but I mean, lyricist songs, he he up top. You know what I mean? That's one, that's one thing. He up top. Kendrick, a little more lyricist and story put together, everything else. So to me, I saw it from the far, we didn't say nothing until the mess of it, especially when Kendrick put out, you know, not like us. And then the other one, I'm like, it's over, Dre. You can't really not say, you can say something, but it's taking it over. Even knowing these two got lyricists and stuff like that. But to me, I think Kendrick, on the lyricist aspect of punchlines, he is more than Drake. Yeah. Um... That's a great take. Um, I looked at it like this was a grown man battling a teenager. Like Kendrick was a grown man and Drake was rapping like a teenager. He's still saying na 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 and pointing the finger. Oh, you, blah, 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 blah. Like, and Kendrick came out like I'm an adult. 
Like I'm not no kid. I'm a man, bro. Like, and and you you I felt it throughout the music, from all the way from Euphoria mm-hmm. to six six one six, to Meet the mm-hmm. Grams, all the way to Not Like Us. That's an EP right there, bro. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> he literally could put that together and call it the Boogeyman and put it up as an EP, and it would True. go platinum. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. It's like right. that's what it was. So I agree with you, man. I think that it just was no. It was I mean, no comparison after. Right. You see the, you I mean, see the one thing I'll, between the two, right. and I like Drake as a he. He rap. He rap. He rap. But you know, it's always the after effects that really kills people, and you see right. the after effects after because you go from you go from because you got to start with with the first one, which was uh, uh, like that. When he set it off, so if you put if you was to put like that, uh, of uh, the Euphoria six one six, meet the Grams, and not like us, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you can't beat that. <laughs> That's a strong lineup right there. <laughs> so I agree with you. Right. Yeah, for sure. Right. So, uh. Let me let me ask you this. So, um, you said uh, you have your own establishment as far as label and everything like that. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate yourself right now as an artist? And why would you rate yourself as such, as a scale of one to ten? Well, I'm gonna say I'm a seven because I'm gonna say like because why I say it's a seven because I feel like some of my songs I did great, you know what I mean, especially on freestyles. Um, but I can get better with some kind of high going things and stuff like that, especially on most. Lyricist content and stuff like that, even though I am lyrical, but I can put more spin to it and spin to that and have a great storytelling. I think I can get better, you know what I mean, over mm-hmm. time, especially on create songs. Because when you are a freestyler and you a battle rapper, create a song sometimes is more difficult than the versus, versus asking somebody who actually can create a song in minutes and then pro at it. Mm -hmm. that's very true because uh you know the stigma when it comes to battle rappers and everything is that battle rappers can't make music but there's actually plenty of battle rappers out there that can do music sue surf sue surf is really good at music averb has some dope songs there's a few others i could just go down a list of individuals so so like yeah i respect that i respect that you said that because a lot of times, you know, especially in this element of hip hop, you know what I mean? Like, uh, progression is everything. You understand what I'm saying? And if you're not progressing, you're degressing. And uh, I feel like a lot of times, when it comes to artists, they uh, they 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 give the they 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 put themselves on this high scale. And they ain't put the work in, you know what I'm saying, to be on that high scale. But they put themselves out there. But you kind of like placed yourself like in the in the very middle, and you saying and you giving yourself room to grow. And I think that's commendable because a lot of artists at times, especially in this era of rap, they don't do that. Back then, back then, yeah, because. Back then, they used to care. They cared more about the pen, and they cared more about the content. Nowadays, it's just, you know, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, and it's a hit record. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it, it, it's, it, it, it wasn't like that back then. You actually had to rap. You know, you actually had to be creative. So, I respect that. I, re- I definitely do, for sure. Yeah, so... um um, before we get out of here, um, I guess, I guess, I guess, uh, 
what I can say to you is what so what do you what do you what do you what's what's your plan for the future as far as hip hop goes? Are you planning on I guess this is a two part question. Are you looking for production? Or and are you planning on doing all types of hip hop or are you just planning on just doing a certain certain demographic of hip hop? Well, that's the question. Like, I'm the kind of person that I almost do almost all kind of music from, like I said, um, I, I have a song actually called Lord Forgive Me. And that, I think that was far by the late great DMX. Because, you know, he say rough things and this and this thing. He go to a song that thank God and pray. So, I mean, I can do club bangers. I can do streets also. I can do a romantic. I mean, that's a little something in count money and get money, whatever like that. I mean, my thing is when I rap or I try to make a song, I ain't sound like everybody else. I'm sound like me. I'm sound like original versus a copycat of nine or ten MCs. So to me, I love music. I love doing music. You know what I mean? No matter what. But when I do music, I take my time to make sure that I almost percent feel like, okay, even though I recorded it's something. So every song I did and I put out, I make I want to be sent ready for the world to hear it or my content or putting it out there knowing that I ain't mess up on certain and I feel very comfortable. Oh let the word hear what I gotta say. Alright, I get what you're saying. And are you looking for production? Um or you just what we what are you doing with that? I mean, to me, oh, I know, like I say, production, I mean, I got production, I know people around this, and to me, I like, like I say, and I'm trying to take it serious, I'm going to say, not really, but we come to music, like, it's something that I like doing, you know, as, like I say, especially the creating part, so I mean, if something else happened, then okay, I'm on board for it, but I take mm-hmm. the time and effort to make sure I put a spot that I am right now. All right, man. That sounds good, man. Tell everybody where they can find you at, man. Hey, yo, you can find me on IG, Midwest Country Boy. I mean, it's a I said a Y. You know I mean, catch me on Facebook, Midwest Country Boy, you know, 314 on SoundCloud, Midwest Country Boy, and also YouTube, Midwest Country Boy, with a I, not a Y. All right, man. All right, man. Thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate you, brother. We gonna put this out, and we gonna do the uh, we gonna do the reaction. You'll see that coming through too. So they'll be be up. Oh yeah, man. Thank y'all, man, for having me, man. Yeah. All right, man. No problem. Anytime, man. Take care. Oh, you too.